it's, it's, it's funny, when I started talking to Adam about this over 18 months ago now, he said, do you want to come play this little role in the film? And it's like, I didn't even need to read the script. It's like, yeah, I'll do anything for you. Um, and then he described the, you know, the character in the way that directors do. It's about this um, talk show host. And, you know, <laughs> so, you know, but then when I read the script, I thought, this is, this is amazing. This is, um, it's so possible. But then as the, as the weeks and months went by, I would, I would text Adam and say, are you psychic? Did you, did you just see what happened with, with Kavanaugh and the Supreme Court nominee? That's actually in the script. Oh my God. Did you just see what happened? You know, week by week, it, it, it was, it was literally like he had sat down and, and channeled the future. And so what felt like a, a kind of a, a mid distance um, satire suddenly became a reality TV show. So I'm not quite sure. I feel like we're living it while we're making it. It is the most surreal experience. Brie Ivanti is a, it's, she's a, I think she probably sees herself as a realist. So the, her, her fantasy is, is um, well, she deals in the real world, but I think her fantasy is impending doom. Just reading the script, it's just so amazing. It is, it, you know, it, it's like all of Adam's work in the sense that it is, it's hilarious, but it's painful and it's so recognizable, but, but, but also it's, it takes you somewhere that you, it's one of those films, like all his films where you go out and you, you can't stop talking about it. And I, I, I think that people really need to, um, need to talk about things. It is like making a silent movie which I love is that you'll be on set and he will just he will just yell something in a suggestion of a line or let's go back and grab that moment it's very very loose and fluid and can I tell you it's um having been you know been locked down for so long with the pigs and the chickens and the children and the you know and not being able to leave the front door to be in a you know, a relatively fluid environment is, is a really, you know, it's, a, it's, it's been a tonic. But he's so great. He's so, he's such a great audience. You know, it's always weird walking into a film, you know, that's been going for uh, a little while. And my first day was in the Situation Room. And, you know, and there you've got Meryl Streep as the, the president and you're opposite Jen Lawrence and Jonah Hill and, and, um, and Leo, who fortunately I'd worked with before. And, um, you know, it's, it's, um, it, it could be a little bit daunting. There's a style, there's a, there's a kind of a front to, to being on television, particularly in breaking news or, or um, in entertainment news, which is what, what their, their program is, that, that you don't need a lot of um, genuine, um, unmolded, authentic people. And so when Kate and Randall um, walk in, I think it's a breath of fresh air. You don't see that a lot. Everyone's, by the time they reach that seat on, in front of the camera, they've been coached and molded and shaped and dressed. And, um, and, and so I don't think she's encountered anyone like him before. And I think she probably prides herself on her, um, her, you know, her, her sort of in, uh, the intellectual side, which is what he, you know, his, his brand rubbing up against her brand, literally no, no erotic pun intended, I think is something which she thinks would be, would value add to her own brand. Gosh, that's a, it's kind of a really complicated question, but really simple. In the end, I think Don't Look Up is about um, the inability or the refusal to deal with reality which seems to be the genuine pandemic at the moment. Well, so some, some things are undeniable. And I think by the, the kind of the extraordinary cast that, that Adam has assembled, I mean, you've got everyone from Ariana Grande to Meryl Streep to Leo to Jennifer. I mean, it's insane, right? They had the, the, the people who are in it. And I think we've all gravitated towards it because it, it is undeniable.